Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Gemini, this is your reading for the near future. When I say near future, I mean approximately two to three months starting from now. This is a general reading. Take what resonates only, what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Gemini, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. If you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. Uh, coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'm shuffling the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. So let's get started. Let's see what you need to know. Bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. Okay. Wow. What a great start, Gemini. We have magician over here. So, magician is kind of indicating me, Gemini, that it's time to become powerful version of yourself. It's time to recognize uh, your talents, your true potential. You will be nudged by the universe time and again for the next two to three months. Okay. You will go through some intense feelings. Sometimes you may feel guilty. Like, what am I doing? Like, I have so many talents. I have such a great potential. Like, why I am not utilizing that? Others, uh, other times you might feel like, is there anything more that I need to explore myself, uh, that I need to explore about myself? Is there something else that i should be doing in my life so there will be this energy of slight restlessness for the next two to three months but this energy of restlessness is actually happening so that you can discover certain things about yourself so that you can become who you're meant to become okay universe is pushing you in a certain direction right so that's what I see with the magician. Then we have the devil, another major arcana. Yeah, you will also find yourself becoming obsessed about your own self-growth. You'll also find yourself becoming obsessed about... <sighs> obsessed about... Money obsessed about becoming powerful okay you will find yourself thinking a lot about what else i can do what else should i be doing how to become a best version of myself how can i make more money okay what are the other sources of income that i need to start you will also try to make sure that you are acting responsible enough What I mean to say is you'll showcase that responsibility towards yourself. You'll take onus of your own growth. You'll be like, I am responsible for my own growth. And if I don't take the appropriate action towards that, I there is a possibility that I might regret for the rest of my life. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to experience the feeling of regret. So you will find yourself becoming obsessed with self-growth, personality growth, uh, obsessed with other things like you try to find motivation in small, small things and everything you do, is it motivating enough? Is it inspiring enough? Okay. Wow, we have a third major arcana. We have the sun card over here. You will also have a lot of reasons to celebrate. You'll also have a lot of reasons to 
become joyful and uh, have a hearty laughter and especially i feel like you're experiencing this joy after a real long time you've been through something that's what i'm getting especially with the devil card next to the sun card i am kind of feeling that you might have experienced a loss you might have experienced something uh loss of a person or you you might have experienced some intense moments in your life gemini okay uh Yeah, you, you might have experienced a loss of a person or you might have got fired from the job for some of you. So this is not something uh, it, it's this is not something that might have happened in the in the recent past. But maybe six years, uh, six months or, uh, in last six months or something like that, you might have experienced such kind of incidences, but it took a toll on you. And after that incidence, you found yourself getting impacted by its consequences. And you never thought that you would get impacted by its consequences. But you found yourself feeling impacted. You felt low. You felt slightly depressed. You felt like... You felt demotivated. You felt like, I, I literally don't want to work. I want to give up everything that I'm doing. I... I don't want to do anything and I'm, I'm I'll take some time to recognize and realize what else I want to do in my life but at the moment I don't want to do anything you might have felt like this I'm not saying that you were literally sitting ideal and you did nothing in your life no but there was a strong feeling of wanting to do nothing this was the impact of uh, some sort of an incident's uh, intense moment that you experienced in the past so after that incident, you have barely laughed, you're barely smiled. Uh, you haven't experienced happiness after that incident. And with the sun card, I feel like some sort of uh, a joyful event is going to happen. Most likely, I do feel like uh, some someone significant is entering in your uh, someone significant is entering in your life. Who is going to bring that joy? Page of Pentacles. I told you, right? Someone significant, a significant is coming towards you. It is quite possible that you're meeting a romantic partner or it is also quite possible that you are making new friends. And whoever these people are, the friends or the romantic partner, I do feel that they probably belong to different cultural background or they grew up in a different environment. For some of you, I feel like you will end up making friends with foreigners okay uh, or if even if this is a romantic partner i do feel like this romantic partner yeah they they will belong to a different ethnicity different cultural background that's what i'm feeling the knight of swords someone is excited to come towards you someone wants to rush towards you they are kind of feeling like I don't want to remain behind in the race. Okay, I want to win the race. I don't want to remain at the end or I don't want to be someone in the middle. No, I want to be at the top. Someone wants to rush towards you. They they are very desperate to get your attention, Gemini. Okay, Ace of Swords. Wow, a lot of sword cards. Okay, you might be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. By the way, talking about the zodiac signs, you might be dealing with air signs. You might be dealing with Leo, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. Ace of Swords. Someone wants to communicate with you. Okay. And I do sense desperation. Is this someone from the past? No. This is not someone from the past because I feel like there is, there is this new person who haven't experienced, who haven't spent any time with you, but they are feeling extremely attracted towards you and 
the curiosity to know you is tremendous over here okay if it would have been an ex all your all of your exes know you okay so the curiosity is not that much to know anything about you when it comes to the exes but when it comes to the new person there is certainly a tremendous amount of curiosity to know you and that's why this desperation to rush towards you because whoever this person is they are feeling like i am going to experience something special with gemini so so let me be the winner of the race for some of you it is possible that someone from the past is trying to come back someone from the past is trying to reconnect with you but then that's it nothing beyond that okay i mean they will come back towards you to reignite the situation but at the start of the uh, conversation itself they won't be like i want to reignite this connection no they will do some casual talk they will try to analyze what you are thinking about them and they will get a feel from you that your vibe is different okay you are no more the same you are no more feeling that kind of attraction that you felt for them in the past okay and then they will not they will withdraw themselves they will analyze your energy and they will withdraw themselves so even though if someone from the past will make an attempt to come back they won't they won't be successful in their intentions three of pentacles someone has some solid intentions to build a solid and a long term relationship uh, for some of you this is also applicable when it comes to your uh, career okay so that's what i see over here gemini i hope this resonates you will see a lot of 333 a lot of 111 11. you're going to see a lot of uh, uh what shall i say you're going to see a lot of 888 if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the sign so this is your spread gemini yes i have i'm using a new deck i hope you're liking that okay this is your new spread this is your spread <laughs> and the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time and bye bye if you're interested in personal readings the link for the same is in description box and comment section take care have a great time gemini and bye bye